Donovan TPS here. Put your pinkies up, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is my WWE application video. Now, you may be wondering, wait a minute, app application video? They, they accept these now? No, I do not think they accept these, but I want to show why I should be in the WWE. Now, what do I want to do in the WWE? Let me tell you. I want to be a manager. I want to be an on-screen character, a GM, you know, manage superstars, you know, make matches, do all those type of things. I just really want to be an on-screen character. And I feel like I can be a great on-screen character, but I'm gonna show you so you can be the judge of that I am the definition of evil. I am the definition of darkness I am the one who lies under your bed waiting for you to go to sleep And then I sneak out due to shadows being unseen by you Because all you see is light and I am evil pure darkness Pure demon, all demon as a matter of fact. And you know who I am sick and tired of? John Cena. Yes, John Cena, who comes out every single week with his bright, fruity pebble colors. Let me tell you something, John Cena. I wear black. I wear darkness. Why? Because I want to blend in with the night. All right, because the night is where I belong. I am the night, as a matter of fact. And you see, I drive in the night. I live for the night. That is all I do. I do not go out in daytime. Why? Because daytime is for the weak. You want to stay in the light so nothing can happen. The real things happen at night. Everything happens at night, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen. And you see, John Cena, you represent hustle, loyalty, respect. As far as I'm concerned, you have none of those things. You see, I'm loyal to only the darkness and the superstars that I manage. And the superstars that I manage are beacons of destructions, are beacons of the end of the world. And when the world finally ends, the world will be gone. Because guess what? There will be no more John Cena when the world is over. There will only be darkness. Darkness, the universe will consume it, and the only thing left will be me and a plethora of superstars that I manage. Why? Because I am the definition of darkness. I am evil. I am the man who will take control of the WWE, and I will bring it back to the Dark Ages where it belongs once and for all. And guess what? John Cena or anybody else on the roster, you cannot hold a candle to me. Why? Because when the darkness consumes the candle, there is no more light, and that is what I am. And the superstars that I manage will completely destroy the WWE. And if you do not like that, and if you do not care, then you have a problem, then you step into the darkness realm, and I will show you that the problem really began. Because after you're done with me, there will be no more of you. All the energy will be sucked out of you. Because guess what? You will have no more positive in life. You will have nothing to live for anymore. And you will see that my view is always right. That my view is not negative, but my view is in fact a positive way of life. The fact that I live like this is a true meaning of life, is a true way of life. And if you do not like that, quite frankly, I don't give a damn, but I will convert you whether you like it or not, all right? And by the time I'm done, I will rule the WWE with my plethora of superstars, the beacons of destruction, and there is not a damn thing you can do about it because darkness will always rule at the end of the night. Ain't I right? How's it going? I'm Donovan, and I'm here in the ring. I'm here in the ring, and I'm just doing a dance, doing a dance. Uh, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did anybody watch that Big Show match last week? I mean, I felt like I was watching the Big Slow, because it was like, he's going to rev up that knockout punch. It's like, like his opponent could like move. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm reading the book, I'm, I'm drinking coffee, I'm talking, I'm talking to, to Caitlin, and I'm talking to Hornswaggle, I'm saying, oh, homie and Hornswaggle have an intellectual conversation while Big Show's still revving up, still revving up, still going slow, still going slow, and uh, one mile per, like, every three years, still going slow, still going slow, still going slow, and how about, uh, how about Undertaker's entrance into the ring, I mean, have you ever, like, sat through an Undertaker entrance? I mean, there's so many things I've done when Undertaker is coming to the ring. I mean, I, I've used the bathroom. 
I've written a novel, I've shot a film, I talked to John Cena, I had a match with John Cena, lost. Unfortunately, he did, he did his five moves and did it. F you. Uh, uh, CM Punk put me to sleep, he was talking to me about something, I don't know, something, I don't know, you know, like, straight edge lifestyle. I was like, <sighs> and I'm like, he didn't even need to hit me. I was like, <sighs> I was already asleep. Uh, so while Undertaker is making his entrance, I'm like, you know, I'm like, all right, oh, what am I going to do? I redesigned the WWE Championship. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Somewhere here. I'm sure Rock has it or something. I don't know. Rock has it. Oh, Austin. Austin. Okay, Austin has it. You know, but anyway, yeah, so Undertaker's entrance, uh, we fit like 10 extra WrestleMania matches while he was making his entrance. We were doing, we did 10 extra matches in the ring, if you didn't know. Um, we did that, so while we wait for Undertaker. But anyway, back to Big Show. He's still hitting. He's taking longer than Undertaker's entrance. Um, because, you know, he's, he's big slow, he's, he, you know, he's a little slow, don't, don't tell him I said that, though, don't, you know, he doesn't like it, he, you know, he doesn't like it, you know, did you know that knucklehead, that was actually, like, that's how he actually acts, it's not, you know, wasn't the, like, he wasn't acting, it was him, and then maybe Big Show's acting now when he's in the ring, or something, I don't, it's confusing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, how did Hornswoggle get the ability to talk, I don't remember, how, Santa Claus gave it to him, Santa Claus, didn't Stone Cold stun him, like, numerous years ago, uh, what about Santa Claus's brother, Santa Claus, nobody remembers that, I do, I do, I met, I met Santa Claus, he's not that bad of a guy, uh, you know, I'm not that bad, Billy Bob Dorton was more of a bad guy, and bad Santa, but, you know, Santa Claus, you know, but anyways, so Big Show is still doing a punch, and then finally, finally Big Show's like, oh, you know what, I gotta go eat some more food, I'm getting hungry, so he stops the punch, and, uh, you know, so it's like 80 minutes have passed already, it's like, you know, I'm like, I don't know, maybe, you know, I talked to Vince about bringing back the women's championship, he agreed, then he disagreed, then he agreed, then he disagreed again, then he agreed, disagreed, agreed, disagreed, disagreed again, agreed, all in that time, and then Undertaker never got to the ring, Undertaker, um, had to miss getting into the ring for some reason, I don't know. I don't know, uh, but uh, Undertaker versus Hornswagger WrestleMania. Make it happen, Vince. Make it happen. Try back and CM Punk are exchanging blows. This is a brutal fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is a brawl. And Ryback hits him with that meat hook clothesline. Oh my god. And the pin. One, two. Oh my god. And the referee with a two count. It was a near fall, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting right now. This is getting exciting. And oh my god. What's CM Punk? CM Punk is up. CM Punk with the knee to the face. Oh my god, like his t-shirt says, knees to face it. CM Punk just gave him those knees. CM Punk is a very vicious wrestler. He knows a lot of MMA holds and things like that. And uh-oh, Ryback, what's he going for? Ryback, oh my god, off the top rope. Oh my god, shoulder block. Knocking down CM Punk. I don't think I've ever seen Ryback go off the top rope, but Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, if a meat hook could fly, a meat hook can fly, and we just saw the big hungry fly in the air. And what? Ryback has got him up. Oh my God, he's marching around the ring. He's about to go for a shell shot. Oh, but CM Punk rakes his eyes. CM Punk, that devious. CM Punk, that scoundrel. That's what he is. A nerf herder. Star Wars reference, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my God, CM Punk with those kicks. Those kicks, he's kicking. He's taking a big man down. And oh, a brutal kick to the head. Jesus Christ. And CM Punk's got him in the go to sleep position. He hits it. Oh my God. Right back. One. Two, oh my god, a two count, a near fall, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ is all I have to say. The Kane, tonight you're going to have a match with your partner, Daniel Bryan. And guess what? If Daniel Bryan loses, Daniel Bryan will not be able to compete at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. So congratulations, you two gentlemen have a match. Have fun, because it's up next. Well, I have a major announcement tonight. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, is going to return and he's going to be the special guest referee of this main event. And what is tonight's main event? It will be Alberto Del Rio defending his World Heavyweight Championship against Sheamus. These two had a great feud a long time ago, but now it's time to relive the feud tonight. So let's get this show started with a tag team match, though. Holla, holla, play, holla, holla, play. I'm just kidding. I'm not Teddy Long, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to make a tag team match. But we are going to see Ryback take on Antonio Cesaro. And if Ryback defeats Antonio Cesaro, he will get a United States Championship match at SummerSlam. So it's going to be a very exciting night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it started. <sighs> Hello there.
I need my fix every week and my fix is watching my clients destroy the competition. That is right. The more I see my clientele destroy the competition, the more high I feel. The more happy that I am to see that my clients are, are doing damage. And I love to see damage done because the best thing that can be done is more damage. More damage. I was raised in a mental asylum. And I am absolutely insane in the mem membrane. So, when my clients destroy your client, I'm gonna wrap their body and throw them in the middle of the Hudson River. You'll never see them again. Never again. Never again. My name is Donovan the Prince Santiago, and I'm the most royal thing in the WWE. Why? Because I have money. I have power. I have the looks. I'm confident. I'm athletic. I've got a great body. I am simply amazing. I am simply better than each and every one of you puny fans watching me right now. You see, I am in the spotlight right now. I am in the limelight right now. All of you idiot, idiotic morons are paying attention to me right now. Why? Because I am the one who deserves all of the attention. I am the one who is making money. I am the one who is buying cars. I am the one hanging out with the celebrities. Why? Because I am simply royalty. I am simply royal, as a matter of fact. I have blood of kings and queens. But I decided that I would be better fit here in the WWE using my money to manage a plethora of superstars. And you see, pretty soon we are going to take over the WWE, and the WWE will soon be the owned, will soon be owned by the one percenters. That is right, because I am a one percenter, and all of you idiots, you 99%, let me tell you something. There's a reason you're 99%, because you're lazy, and you will not get off of your ass, and all you do is watch WWE shows, and you watch me, so whenever you pay your money, it's going towards me, and my wallet gets bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger and bigger and I can spend it on more items while you idiots and fans complain why don't we have money why don't we have money because you're spending it all on me I am absolutely royal I am the definition of royalty I am Donovan the Prince Santiago and I put my pinky up because I know that I am better than you I am the one percent and you know what I will rub it in your face every single day for the rest of your life. You will not forget me because I will be this close to you, this close to you. But guess what? You won't be able to touch me because you can't touch royalty. All of you filthy peasants cannot touch me because I am truly wealthy. I have a wealth of knowledge and money. I'm the prince. Pinkies up. I'm Donovan, the Prince Santiago. Put your pinkies up, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day, and feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, favorite it, share it, and tweet it to everybody in the WWE Universe. I want everybody in the WWE Universe to see this video. Thank you guys, have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, today is December 21st, 2012, and apparently the world is supposed to end as predicted by the Mayan calendar, Nostradamus, 